camera quality on a live stream is something that's hard to achieve. There's been a lot of workarounds. Of course, we've got Elgato's CamLink 4K, which is great. And I'm using that on my live streams as well as a brand new web camera from Ava Media. The name is a mouthful and they really need to sort this out, but it's the Ava Media PW510 4K UHD webcam 510 and it's this guy right here. It is quite a spectacular webcam and I'm just gonna off the, off the top of this video say that it's probably the best webcam on the market. Uh, just a disclaimer so that you guys know, Ava Media sent me this unit to review. So I never had to pay for this review unit and that's a good thing because I think this costs around 7,000 Rand if you buy this in South Africa, which is a lot of money for a webcam. And I know that sounds like it can be hard to justify, but it has extraordinary quality. Before I get to who I think this webcam is for, let's run through some of the specs. The first thing you'll notice is that the actual webcam is, is, is closed over here. That opens up, it's actually got a built-in camera cover so that you don't have hackers looking at you, which is pretty cool and nifty. I quite like that. It's got a stand that allows you to fit this onto a PC screen and I like this uh, little notch over here. It makes it look like the Ava Media device is actually built into your monitor, which is pretty cool. And of course, I've got a, a, a shoe screwed in here. This is like a, a regular camera shoe that you can put onto any tripod. So I actually put this into a, a tripod that I've got rigged onto my desk. If you've got USB 3, it, as far as I know, it doesn't need to be powered, but it does come with a power cable and I like powering it purely because if you have a rig with a lot of extra products like I do when especially when you live stream there's like a headphone jack there's like a massive keyboard multiple cameras I've got multiple Logitech E920s plugged into my rig just to make my live streams that much better guys go check out twitch.tv forward slash Grant Hines um, then of course the products are taking a huge power drain and especially something that is filming in 4k uh, you want to make sure that that's powered so it does have a USB 3 uh, connector only but the power cable goes into a power source as well apparently you don't need that again if you are running USB 3 the power source and if you're running USB 2 you're gonna need the power source I have it on both and this is a USB C plug I don't know if you can check that that's USB C so I use it with an adapter that comes in the box to plug into so a USB-C in on the back of my motherboard just to free up as a couple of extra USB ports. Not many products have USB-C in right now, so that allows me to do that. And what is nice is that USB-C is a USB to USB-C. So you could essentially use it on an another product that you've got to run into your motherboard. And that just came in the box, which was really nifty. But of course, I'm using it with the Evermedia PW510. All right, good thing, straight off the bat, this is a very wide lens. It's not 180 degrees, but it's 94 degrees wide angle, which is pretty cool. It doesn't have a, a fisheye field, which is great. The argument for not getting this would be to get the cam link and a, a GoPro But the GoPro does have that fisheye look and a lot of people might not want that necessarily But you should be able to get a very similar if you get the cam link 4k and a GoPro It's similarly priced again I think I should explain a little bit later why I who I think that this device is for because I think this has a specific use case that having a cam link 4k and a GoPro or a, a, a Canon Legria or something does not have you might be surprised stay tuned to the end for that but PW510 falls within Ava Media's ecosystem of streaming devices. As you know, I, I have a lot of Ava Media products in my rig and in my setup. I think they are a really good brand when it comes to live streaming gear. Generally, they're the more affordable one on the market. But again, it's strange that they're bringing out such an expensive camera when their capture cards are relatively affordable and have a lot of different use cases. They kind of, like the Live Portable 2 has got the micro USB so you can record directly to that device. You don't need a, a separate laptop. They've really thought it through. I think Elgato is more like the Apple Mac of recording devices. They've got a, a, a smaller range and those ranges have very specific use cases but they just work whereas Ava Media has opened up their, their product range to do a lot of different things. Of course, I'm recording this with the Ava Media USB microphone it's over here there it is listen to it so that is their gaming microphone this is their gaming camera and it works with their gaming capture cards and of course that works with ReCentral which is the hub for their gaming hardware let's just bust off a bunch of specs the image resolution is sitting at 8 megapixels it can record 4k at 25 fps 1080p 720p 960 by 540 848 by 480 640 by 480 and a whole bunch of other lower resolutions at 60 fps i stream in 1080p 60 so that really helps me out and of course lower 30 and 15 fps You've got to have a minimum working distance of about 10 centimeters it has backlight compensation and correct me if i'm wrong i think it's because it's a webcam with windows 10 webcam drivers which has backlight compensation in it and for those of you who are using obs 
the video encoding is either YUV or MJPEG. In the box that I received, there are multiple adapters depending on the plug type that you use. It also has the power adapter, the USB adapter, and uh, the USB cable from the, the USB-C cable from the device through to the PC. So everything you need is inside the box. Because it's a webcam that has got webcam drivers, you don't need any, any software to install it. Of course, there's ReCentral, and we'll have a look at a recording with ReCentral in a bit. But that has a multitude of other benefits. So. I said that I've got a lot of Ava Media products inside my setup right now, including this camera and the Ava Media PCIe Express card. Uh, if you guys want to see videos of that, I will include them in the description and in the cards of this video, so you can go have a look at the, the videos which I've covered on them. But I also have Elgato's products in my ecosystem. I do have an Elgato HD60 and I've got an Elgato Cam Link 4K, which I'm using. And the magic is that this works with everything. It's a webcam, essentially. And that brings me to some of the use cases which I think we should be using it for. The quality is exceptional. In, in fact, the raw quality and the raw output looks great. I think it's nearly too good for live streaming. It's great for live streaming. If you guys are doing a podcast and you want to have lockdown cameras, this is the perfect solution. There are other solutions, like I, I do have my Canon Legria with the, with the Camlink 4K, but of course, you're limited to the output of the camera that you've got. You need to have a 4K camera to utilize the 4K on the Camlink 4K, which is nice, but it's also expensive. And if you don't have that product, you're gonna pay a lot of money to get that look and feel. Seven grand makes it a little bit cheaper at the end of the day, but also it's a fixed camera solution. I worked on a couple of television shows which needed fixed cameras in weird locations, uh, specifically like in cooking. If you needed a top down bird's eye view shot of the desk while, or the, the kitchen counter while a chef is cooking, you don't really want to use a TV camera to do that. This is actually a great solution for a problem like that and would be cheaper. We used to use security cameras that we hacked for, for that use case. And I think something like this would be great because it's small, it's inconspicuous, it can be opened, it can be closed, it can be rigged and fully mounted in any uh, orientation uh, in a studio, which I think is really smart. And if you have a boardroom where you want a fixed camera with great quality, if you're chatting with clients all around the world, having something like the PW 510 is a great plug and play solution. It does stream in 4K. If you want 4K, I don't know if the Skype even 4K. This is a very powerful device. In fact, I think this is going to be the title of the video. This is the best webcam you can buy with your money. I know there are other fancy gimmicky things, but because this is geared for streamers who want great visual fidelity, having this as a webcam means that you literally can't be beat. Having it powered means you don't have to worry about if there's enough power coming from your PC or if your motherboard's being overloaded. It literally just plug and plays and works. As a streaming camera, it might seem excessive. The Logitech C920 is like a third of the price and puts out a pretty decent signal, as you know. At times, it just doesn't work. Every time you restart OBS, grading is all wrong. I know they've tried to fix it in their software, but the white balance is broken. Every time you have to check the different cameras, I use multiple Logitech C920s often in my shoots, and I have to like regrade every single shot every time I open up OBS, which is highly annoying. Um, but having a camera that just switches on and works every time I open up OBS, you know, on condition that the, the camera is open. <laughs> it's just simply more reliable. If you've got the money to burn and you want something that is extraordinary, then the PW510 is for you. If you've got an Elgato system because you've just invested in an Elgato and you don't want to use the cam link or you don't have a camera to work with the cam link, this is a great solution and it works with OBS plug and play. Again, some of you guys might use ReCentral to, to stream. So let's have a look at some of the, the visual fidelity from ReCentral and some of the settings that you could change inside the software. Here's the actual footage that's coming from the Ava Media PW510. It's not in 4K, this is gonna be 1080p 60. This is just literally the raw feed. I haven't changed anything. As you can see, the, the darks are a little bit washed out. You can tweak that kind of stuff, but it works pretty well because it's taking what we would consider low light and making sure that it's visible. This area is actually quite dark. I'm only using a ring light to light myself, and that is pretty remarkable. With a little bit of tweaking, let me see if what I can do here on the on the tweaking side of things. If I go to filters and I add a video effect and I do some color correction, I can do pretty much everything. And like I can saturate it. Ooh, that's disgusting. I can up the contrast. I would lower the brightness a bit. 
all over the camera a bit. Uh, already that's looking a little bit better. I mean, I could spend more time doing that. And then let me just add a sharpen. I'm doing this all within OBS and it just works. Recentral is great, but I don't know how many people are actually using Recentral to stream with. I don't recommend using Recentral because these are webcam drivers. I haven't found any settings inside Recentral to change uh, the f-stop or anything of the camera which is fine, it'll work, it'll do. And like that, it just works. And it's just this really beautiful, smooth, like, like look and feel. Check it out when I'm waving my arms. So I'm very impressed with it, it is really great. Uh, of course it works 10 centimeters away, so there's, a, there's the close. This is an optimal thing. And because of that wide 94 angle, like I can get a lot of my desk in. I'm actually gonna plan on using it, showcase a lot of the hardware that I'm sponsored with in my videos going forward so you guys can see a different angle and I will, I'll be spending time doing that. And this is the perfect camera to do that. Yeah, I'm very impressed. Another thing is I haven't found a microphone on it. It looks like there's a microphone because the, there's a grill at the top, but I haven't found one. Of course, I think Ava Media wants you to use their condenser microphone. And if you are any kind of professional streamer, before you even begin thinking about a camera, you need to look at getting a microphone first. This is the most important part of your production and I've spoken about it. I've reviewed this microphone. It is a great microphone and it is uh, relatively inexpensive. I think it's like one and a half thousand Rand or 2000 Rand, which is a great price for a condenser microphone. So make sure that you do pick up one of these guys before you get your webcam. But again, Again, I think this is a very, a very good uh, look and feel of the final product. It's, 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 it's extremely high end and I feel it's the best webcam on the market. If there is a microphone and I just haven't found it before making this video, please let me know. I have done a lot of research. It's not in the, re the, the Recentral software. It's not on any of the manuals that I can see and I might be wrong. But again, I would never in my life use a onboard microphone on a webcam. Even the Logitech C920s, they always try to hijack my main microphone because they've got built-in mics and it's the worst. Anyway, highly impressed. So there you have it. It seems to really handle low light very well. I really do feel like when you hold this, you can feel the quality of this device. It is, it is high end. But again, I don't think it's for everybody. I think it's for people in television, in boardrooms, and streamers who've got a lot of money to burn and want something very reliable. If you've, if you've had it with Logitech, because the, the camera codecs just aren't like playing ball with you and your white balance is always broken, check out the AVMedia PW510 4K. This is a 4K camera that you can bet on and it just, just works. If you don't have the money, I don't think this is the most important part of your setup. I think you can do with this a lot later or you can get a camera like a Canon Legria and use the, the Camlink 4K. Not everybody's streaming in 4K. Again, I think it's still a select a little bunch of people that are doing it. So I don't think that's a huge concern for a lot of people that are buying webcams, but this is a great future proof. Let me know what you guys think in the description below I've included uh, links to a whole bunch of other AV media products of course I've also done a video for the cam link I'm not sure which one I'm gonna be up uploading first either the cam link uh, with the Canon uh, Allegria or this but stay tuned for either of those thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in another video high five stranger cheers